So what changes have we seen in visitation to U.S. national parks since the end of the Second World War? Well, that's a good question. Uh, since the end of the World War, Second World War, um, uh, visitation to U.S. national parks have seen a lot of changes. Uh, after the World War, American soldiers came back to the U.S. and wanted to resume normal life. And that included getting to see their country that they had fought for for the last several years. And so they, with their families, started visiting our national parks in increasingly large numbers with each year in the late 1940s and early 1950s. Um, but the National Park Service wasn't really prepared for this great in increase in visitation. And so by the middle of the 1950s, uh, the National Park Service uh, created an initiative called Mission 66, which was intended to, by the year 1966, have uh, greater infrastructure, greater access to all national parks in the U.S. to provide for um, increased visitor opportunities for all these. Uh, during World War II, uh, many of our uh, national parks were not quite closed, but uh, extremely reduced in the number of uh, visitors that they received. Uh, so maybe a few hundred thousand, uh, one of our bigger parks, uh, perhaps a few million uh, um, system-wide. But by the 1950s, uh, these were more like 20 to 30 million visitors each year for the entire uh, national park system. And uh, each year they grew by many percentage points um, until by uh, the 1970s, we were getting more like 200 million uh, visitors to our national park system. Um, and by the 21st century, uh, it was closer to uh, 300 uh, million uh, visitors. Increasingly, um, uh, the, the visitation to our parks does not match the demographics of the United States. Um, they tend to be uh, uh, upper middle class in income, they tend to be uh, white, uh, they tend to be older, and of course uh, our country's demographics are changing uh, significantly. And uh, one of our challenges the National Park Service is to make sure that both um, our visitation to the parks uh, and the employees of the National Park Service reflects the United States as it exists today. And so we, um, we want to make sure that uh, all visitors, all, all Americans, and for that matter, um, everyone from the world feels very welcome uh, in our national parks. The National Park Service has a budget of around $3 billion U.S. And of this, the vast majority actually comes from the American taxpayers. About 70% of our funds comes from Congress, so ultimately from the taxpayers uh, of the United States. Now, we certainly have uh, other very important components of our budget, and this includes uh, our concessions. So these are the lodges and restaurants that are managed by the private sector, but, but owned by the American people, by the National Park Service. Uh, and these provide important revenues uh, to the park system. Uh, in addition, we have uh, entrance fees, of course. Uh, we have recreation fees. We have uh, commercial uh, service fees. These are when people bring in uh, visitors to our parks. All of these are important, but we really like to emphasize that uh, the management of, of our national parks really uh, depends upon the budget that we get from Congress, from the American taxpayer.